What's good team? Welcome to another Small James coding tutorial where today we're going to learn how to use local storage, data persistence in your browser, a fundamental concept when you're learning web development. So it's good to incorporate it into your skill set today. If you like the video, please like and sub. Let's get into it. For this demonstration, I have prepared a little application here, but before we dive into the workings, it's probably good to figure out exactly what local storage is. Essentially, local storage is a database or data persistence system that allows you to save key value pairs as an object to your browsers like database. Now that storage is specific to a particular browser on a particular device. So your Chrome on your phone won't have the same local storage as the Chrome on your desktop. And a lot of state management tools and all sorts of different frameworks use local storage underneath the hood. Now to demonstrate how it works in this application, here we can see that we have this incremental where if I click this button, it increases the count. The problem is, is that as soon as I refresh the page or if I close and reopen the browser, we lose everything. So I click refresh, it's all gone. Now, what if I wanted to persist that information? Well, this is where local storage is excellent. And so here I have this increment function. What I can do is I can go local storage dot set item. So this is the set function. The first thing I do is pass it the key. So I might just call it num. And the second thing I do is pass it the value. So here I have const new val. And so I can just paste new value. So that's the new value of the increment. And now every time I click this button, it's going to set the local storage item, overwrite it to the new value. And so now I can do that and it will be saving it. However, if I refresh the page, we notice that everything is still gone. Yet if we inspect and go into application, we can see that we have the num there and that six is indeed persisted. So the information is saved. The secondary thing we'd have to do is retrieve it. And so I can define a function called on page load, just like that, open that up. And I can say const saved val is equal to local storage dot get item. And I use the same key that I saved it as, which is num. You might want to be more specific than that. And now that's going to get the item. And then what I can do is say val dot inner text is equal to saved val. And so now as soon as I do that and refresh the page, still nothing happens. And that's because I have to call this on page load. So this will execute call that. And now when I refresh the page, we can see that six is persisted. If I increase that button and refresh the 15 is persisted. And that will be the same if I reopen the page as well. So it's pretty straightforward. We have those two functions, set item and get item, where get item just takes one argument, the key, and set item takes two, the key and the value. Now that's just if we're passing in a single value. If you wanted to save an object or a different type of data structure, what you could do, let's say we wanted to save an object, is you want to save it as a string. And so you would go json.stringify, pass in that particular object. So let's say we have an object here. And then, you know, in this particular case, let's say our value is equal to new val. So now we're saving an object. Now, what I can do in here is just read that in and say new value is equal to json.pass saved val, which is going to be whatever comes back from num. So this key num has this associated object. And instead, what I'll have to do is just access the value parameter. So now we'll find that if I come into our application and delete this, refresh the page, nothing is there. I can increase it. Nothing is working. That's because I just have to add in an if check. So we're going to say if saved val, then what we'll do is we will set that value. Otherwise, nothing is going to happen. And so now what I can do is refresh that page, increase the value, refresh the page, and the value is still persisted. And so there we can see how we can pass an object instead of just a regular string. Now we have two other methods. The other one you could use is local storage dot clear, and that's just going to completely erase everything. And then the final one is local storage dot remove item. And in that particular case, we would just pass an argument of the number and that will delete it. And just like that, you can have data persistence in any application that you want using the browser storage specific to that browser on that particular device. If you found the video useful, please like and sub, super appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.